Okay. Okay, so tonight, tonight we're going to look at Kicho. Uh, flying bird sits. Now, in, in my opinion, um, that between this and Ichimonji, this is one of the most important ones. It's actually in Ichimon Hako, along with Jumanji. Um, and not for the fact that it's just a great way to kick somebody in the groin. Um, it actually teaches you how to move. It, it truly does. Um, so for a second, I just want you guys to walk around. I just want you just to walk around. I want you to actually notice how you walk. And in particularly, actually just walk around. I want you to notice really what's happening between your foot and your hip and your weight. Just notice what happens as you walk forward and then all of a sudden like that hip and that foot are kind of over each other and you kind of balance. Just for that second as you go to that next step and then you're here, okay? Just notice it as you, you do it naturally all the time. All right, so just take a second, walk around, just notice how that hip and that weight all of a sudden just come, boom, and they break. Now that one second, you're on one leg. And then over here, boom, you're on one leg. And now you can shift and you can go over here. Because you can't if you're on both legs. It's hard to shift. You just, you're, but one second, you're kind of just there. But just notice how that all kind of comes in line perfectly. You're not putting your right foot out and then shifting your hip over and then putting your left foot out and shifting your hip over. You're not doing that. You're walking and all of a sudden, they're, boom, they're both right there. Boom, they're both right there. They're both right there. It's just what happens. Correct me if I'm wrong. Are you seeing that in your body? That for that one second, everything's there, and then oh, you can go somewhere else. This gives you the ability to be nimble. All right, you can stop walking and go back to your spot. Does everyone kind of see what I'm talking about? You naturally just kind of move around. You actually naturally shift from one leg to another. You're not going. I mean, you try it. You get some weird looks out in public, but that's not how you're walking, right? If everything is going over and then boom. Everything's going over, boom. You can change positions, you can go over here and go over here now. This is what Kicho is showing us. And the problem is, and what I find in most people, is when you're training, we forget how to walk. We literally forget how to walk. You know, I got mad here and I was like, okay, he says walk. Okay. This, this is not walking. Both my feet are planted. I'm holding my ground right now. Both my feet are planted and I'm not walking. I'm holding my ground. So what happens? Oh, I gotta get muscly because I'm holding my ground trying to fight you. But if we just walked, 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 I would have a lot easier time because now I have my mass and everything moving through time and space. All right, you guys heard, you heard me say a million times, fully weighted, fully weighted, just walk. So Kicho, again, isn't necessarily, in my opinion, not about just being able to hold this. It's going from here, from Ishimoji, back into Hijo. That transition to here. That transition here to here. All right, that you have when you're walking. And remembering that this is movement. Then we're gonna follow what I'm saying. All right, yep. so just to start, we're gonna be easy. We're gonna start just literally, which is what I was doing. It's, we're gonna be here. I want you to walk and take this person down. All right, you're not gonna get muscly. If you find something muscly, you are. I want you to start, start here. I want you to take a step, just like when you were walking before, over here. Right, I'm on that foot. I'm weak, I'm in heat jump. I can do a lot of things to Matt, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna walk over here, full, and then back, okay? Lily, don't want you to think about taking them down. They're gonna be holding on to you. You're gonna be holding on to them. I'm not, again, stepping. <clears throat> pulling, not stepping, shifting my hip. I'm just walking over here. All right, then I'm gonna walk over here. All right, just for a minute, just again, just think of walking. All right, go ahead, grab somebody, walk. <laughs> You'll grab and walk. Uh, you're not practicing the throw right now, uh, so don't. Don't walk like you're preparing to throw somebody. I know this is like this is really kind of strange advice, but uh, uh, what if this is less one, two, three, kind of plotting, you know, like walking like you just got fired, you know? You didn't get fired, you're here, you're hired. <laughs> so just walk. Just walk. Keep it nice and light, airy, puffy, easy, croissant, 
fatal walk. Just like when you're walking around the floor of the mat with nobody grabbing onto you. Yeah. Walk that easy. All right? Walk sometimes that way. Sometimes they fell down, sometimes they didn't. You know? Okay. Whatever. That's not the point is I want you to be comfortable that if somebody's here that you're like, okay, I'm walking. No, no, you're, no, you're not. Your hips are not over your feet. You're holding your ground and you're trying to pull them. It's not going to happen. It's the beauty of the fact that, yeah, and my full weight goes over here. It goes over here. It's my momentum. It's trying to hold that 185 pound cat that's just like out arm reach at least. All right. But I know you guys are like, well, you go down every single time. Go down effective technique. Well, it's a, not a technique. We're talking about movement. All right. But I'm going to give you something that you can go down every single time. We're going to add a little, just a little JFK in there as you do it. All right. That's all we're going to do. I'm going to walk this side and you're going to go back into the left. Okay, that's it. It'll actually make my walk a little bit easier. So again, back and to the left. The JFK. All right. Now, I don't want to see this. I want to see as I take this first step, boom, here. And I walk right through. All right, that's it. Just add back. That's all we're going to take you to add right now. And, but walk naturally. All right, go. It's not what your Taijutsu can do for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so unless my sense of humor may not have come through. Ah, it's kind of our JFK back into the left. Okay, John JFK is an acronym for John Fitzgerald Kennedy. I believe he was like our <laughs> mid thirties president who was assassinated in Dallas. Oh, and you've never heard of him. Yeah, but maybe never heard of him. I know I'm dating myself with this. Well, when he was shot, the whole thing was in the movie JFK. It was like his head went back and to the left. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Because the shooter was behind it, how could he possibly shoot? Hence my sixth sense of humor. So, I want his head going not just back. If it just goes back, if this shoulder is in crack, crack and just walk out of you, turn that shoulder, do your thing. If it just goes left, he can turn his spin right out of that too. But if it goes back and to the left, which is 45 degrees up that way, that is going to be tougher. All right, so that's why I want that angle to trap that shoulder to get them back more on their heels. And really kind of almost like cutting like right across, like from the beach, but this cheekbone right across the middle of his eyes. Back there. I want to get that stance. And I want to get that stance as I take a step. Okay? Yeah. And that'd be just as effective to the right? All right, if it was on the right. I mean, back into the right, if I'm going this way, it will not work. Okay. He's going to, he's going to. He's gonna get me. He's gonna come right around and get me. All right. I want to spread him out, and I can track his shoulder by doing that. You know, I've never seen this from Rui Sokei's years ago. As we were doing a Soto Gake, and she was so small, she couldn't reach over that other shoulder. She just went, okay. And she, <laughs> she's like, I don't need the shoulder. I need to just trap the shoulder. I can trap the shoulder by the head. Okay. But again, walking, walking, walking. Okay. Let's chat a little bit about uh, about what's happening here, not just in the neck but in the body too. So don't let your body move, would you? Just let me move your head. If I if I turn Miles' head, you can see in his chest. Let's actually turn. Let's go this way and turn this way so we can kind of see. If if you watch me turn Miles' head, his chest doesn't turn. Uh, if I push his head back, his he had a little bit of a lean back, but there wasn't much there, right? Uh, has anyone ever here or heard the Serape effect? You don't know what the Serape is? Like I, had, I had one for lunch a couple weeks ago. It's it's one of those like little diagonal scars. It's kind of a it's kind of a Latin American thing. It's uh, it's a serrated thing. This old JC Santana stuff from back in the day. So so when you are working this, if you're getting the right angle, do you see how that how this distance between Miles's hip and his shoulder is starting to separate? That's the separation that we're looking for. The back, the spine is starting to twist. The shoulders displacing out over one hip and the opposite hip is displacing out under the shoulder. If you're working this at the proper angle, we won't move here. Right now, Miles has a lot of stretch going from here to here. Uh, less stretch going from here to here. If the, if the stretch from here, here to here and here to here are equal, that means he's leaning straight back. But no, we want him twisted. This side is now kind of locked in position. It's a little bit easier to work around, okay? so. Don't just think of this as a neck technique. Think of this as something that's going on in the, in the body and spine and torso. That's, uh, that's creating, a, it's creating a dynamic that makes it harder for them 
the only way for them to kind of get to kind of get away from this is to get one leg away. This leg is kind of long. It's kind of trap. Yep. Yeah, have fun. Just for a little extra practice, uh, this is something a little bit more uke participation as well. As you're walking through ukes, let yourself get to this point of like, oh crap, I'm about to fall. And then I want you to recover your balance, move yourself back to a position where you feel like you're good and back on balance, okay? Just, just start there. Save yourself from the fall. Mate, I'm going to switch our track a little bit in the flip if you don't mind. Okay, no problem. Uh, Matt Burke. So now, okay, so we've, we've gotten that, okay, we can get them down more consistently now, right? We're walking and they're here, and okay, we're doing better. Let's add in one little other aspect, which is I'm going to pull on this too. But this one, I'm going to pull on it because it's, I'm walking over here. I'm not going to pull on it and then walk. So as I step over here, I'm going to make sure this is snug to my side. So he's really kind of leaning more. And as he's leaning more, he's leaning into this hand more. Great, now I'm just going to walk around. All right, so I'm going to give this a little bit more tug to make it secure. Now we could push it back too, but that's a different thing. All right, Where, so as I, as I take that step off the side, I'm going to kind of give this a little pull maybe right into me here. I'm going to walk over here. Okay. I'm going to walk over here. Hand up. Okay. All right, and just walk. All right, that's the only thing you're doing is you're doing this little bit of pull and this thing's coming out. That's all I'm at. All right. You know, it's like people forget to walk when they train. Because you're trying to do all this other stuff. So now what I'm seeing is I'm seeing people get to here. And they're like, God, oh, it doesn't work. I'm not walking. I'm holding my ground. Now I'm trying to do some muscle shit. Right? I, might, I do not walk over here. I took a step, I planted, and I tried to pretend like I'm walking, and I tried to fight it with my arms. All right, this is what he chose showing. All right, back to this, this is not walking. All right, that's why when I was walking, I think you're actually having more success. Now that I have two hands in there, yes, you had good success with this, but now the second hand, like, oh, shit. We feel like forget about all the walking. Again, the walking is a big one. Keep this, bring it here. Put this up here. Okay? Emphasize this. Don't get away from this. This is the main lesson. This is the main lesson. Mate. So... Yeah, I've, I've seen all of you had success, all right? At some, one way or another, you all had successful priority. Um, so then I was like, well, this is Hicho class. You're doing Hicho. Okay. You're not far off from doing Hicho. You have a full weight shift off to the side. I have all those options in there. All right, do we see that? We're in Hicho. And now I can, you know, whoop. now I have all the other stuff. But I, I can't get to Hicho if I don't walk, if I don't do that weight shift, if I don't do any of that. I can't get any of that. I'm not, I can't get in Hicho. Okay? So now a couple times, I actually just want you to go into the come up. Don't worry about anything else. Again, think about what you're, about what this, this step and what this has meant to you. All right? Hold this here, have the same up here, and go. Actually, you need to come up. Come back. All right, take him down. And, and, and recognize that you've been doing that the whole night. Oh. Okay? All right, go ahead. Um, add, adding to, yep. just, to, just to give people a, a, a bit easier bet. Actually, uh, you're good. I like uh, Sorry. If you're wearing a, a yellow belt, a blue belt, maybe even get into red belt, this is, a good, this is good practice on... Relaxing your body movement as you get to a position into a come up. Being able to stay on balance, you're, you're working on the mechanical side of it. Stay relaxed. Work, up, work on uh, not having this be a fight. You're wearing a green belt, a brown belt. Uh, this is a little bit more mental. We were just discussing this where this looks, if we're doing a martial art, this looks like it's a combative outcome. We know what we're trying to create here. But can you maybe drop out the sense for a moment that this is something where you're trying to win a fight or trying to reproduce something your teacher told you to do? And you're just more saying, like, hey, I have really good come up, and I'm just moving through. Let that speak for you. And that's why, maybe that's a way to partition how you guys look at this. Okay? Mentioned it wrong in the beginning, uh, Captain Bart. <clears throat> so if Kyle's just standing here, all right, I'm going to teach you here. Weapons facing. Okay? I'm not going like this. This isn't really a feature. That's kind of a workout. I'm going to work on the weight shift. 
Well, that weight shift is still here, but now I'm going to be, so he grabs here, I'm going to shift off into heat joints. And now I'm just set. Okay, what we're really working on, what I want you to appreciate in this is that step, that walking step, whoa, over to here. All right, I don't want you to go and just say, okay, and um, there's no effect on you. <laughs> Nothing happened to you. It's the fact that I was the problem. It's that, this. That's what I really want you guys to experience. Make sense? Go. Yes. All right, Monte. Um, so I remember. So, go back to the very first lesson when we did tonight, walking, right? Now I'm adding more things in, so we're forgetting how to walk even more. All right, especially when I'm looking. Now I can walk and actually get into a, a come on. Um, I want you to notice what happens with his body and how it changes. If I'm here, and so I'm saying like this, and I'm shifting my weight over into come on. All right, and, uh, really struggling. I want you to notice what he does. He has a tendency because this has already been shifted over, and I'm shifting. All of the shift is going from here. This tendency to break and lean this way. He's still pretty balanced on his feet. His weight hasn't shifted because I didn't shift my weight. So if I don't shift my weight, why the hell is he going to shift his weight? He's, he says the opposite of me right now. Do we understand that? What I'm doing is going to be representing him. So if I'm trying to do this, why the hell wouldn't he? Right? But if I step, ooh, he's on one foot. Why? Because he's representing what I just did. So I'm walking. He's on one foot. Down. Okay? They are, they're a mirror of what you're doing. And if you're moving, and again, not walking, but again, we don't walk like that. I mean, you can. Well, it's moving. But if I walk like this, he, look, I'm shifting my weight laterally like this. Why wouldn't he do the same thing? And that's exactly what he's doing. I'm going to have to get my upper body and I'm going to have to fight him because I'm trying to hold the ground. Walk. You'll be represented at him. You're on one foot, he'll be on one foot. You're on two feet, he'll be on two feet. Addendum. Yes. Uh, addendum to that. So first off, yes, this is not the Ministry of Civil Laws. <laughs> yes. right? uh, so, uh, I was just watching somebody pipe on his back. It was great. Uh, you can pay attention to what's going on at their hip uh, as, uh, as part of what we're looking at here, but ultimately this comes down to what are you doing with your own movement? Uh, something I've talked to some brown belts about already, and something that I suspect might be happening for other people too, is that, again, we kind of have this, uh, we know we're trying to get this guy here feeling, and we're trying to have this be sort of a, we already starting from a place of, internally within ourselves, this being kind of a fight. And so what ends up happening is if Adam lets go and steps away, where am I going? I'm kind of falling forward. So oftentimes, just like with the walking experiment, it's very easy to move your leg but not shift your weight. It's very easy, it's very easy to make this mistake. It's not, a, it's not an apparent mistake. So here's how I want you to test it, make it clear to yourself. As you step off and you get the heat show, have your partner let go and step away. Ooh, how's your balance? Ooh, I'm a little off. But there we go. As opposed to, my partner steps away, shit, I'm falling forward. Uh, what that tells me is that my weight never got over this hip. If my weight is forward of this hip, I'm going to fall forward. That tells you you weren't transferring your weight properly. Does that make sense? Good, keep training. It's looking a lot better. Everyone's, everyone's yeah. actually coming along quite well. Uh, so, so think about it this way. I mean, where should you be moving if you're moving with good tight Anywhere you want. Uh, where from your body should you be moving when you're, when you have good tight from, your, from your hips, from your center, right? From your core. Uh, so it's really interesting what happens if you, if you move uh, away from that way of moving. So say here's my head and shoulders. I decide to start attacking with those. I then take my leg and I try to step out. 
And here, the center of gravity of the staff is uh, right, about, right about here. We can see that we're on either side of it. Uh, as soon as that resistance is gone, the staff falls, right? There's a difference between that and being able to move from my waist height and just put my waist somewhere, and then put my waist somewhere. I can be very gentle on the staff and it doesn't tip. Uh, this is the same thing. If you're trying to move with your legs first, I mean, oh my god. <laughs> this, this starts to tip on you really, really fast. So I just wanted to, to use this as a quick visual example to say, hey, when you guys are moving really well from that hip, your balance is fine. When you're trying to use your hands to push you there, or you're trying to step there with your leg, you're taking this thing that should be straight up and down, and you're starting to turn it or tilt it, that's creating liabilities in the movement. Does that make sense? Cool, just a quick thing, that's all. Okay, so, we're, we're, we're seeing what I'm talking about now, right? One of the great things about um, Pito is it's a zero point. All right, once I'm here, I can go anywhere. I can go this way. Um, so, what I want you to do now is we're going to switch it up to give you a little more variety on the angles. Um, he's going to throw out a punch. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to walk over here. I'm going to put my hand up here. I'm going to walk over this way. I'm going to walk over this way. I'm just going to take him down. All right. So, he's going to go over here. I'm going to walk over here. Take his hand. Walk, walk, walk. All right. Just a couple of more days just to take him down. All right. But again, walking. Walking, walking. I don't want to see this shit. If your hands are outside of this little box right here, you're doing it wrong. All right, you're not violating walking. Step, 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 step. Last time I crushed on his hand, it's the angle that does it. All right, so we're going to take it down with the multi. I do not want to see any windows. I want to see this done with your walking foot. All right? It's been a long time. People understand what's going on. How about you, Jake? The reason a multi piaccio doesn't have to be hard is if Jake's here and his chest is on this plane, his hand is on this plane. If I put his hand around with the tongue, which naturally he'd want to open up his hand so it kind of orbits around him. All right? His hand opens as the further it goes back. You notice that? It's like his palm's always facing his center. That's just the way it wants to happen. Well, I'm going to take this plane and put it straight behind this plane. That's not the way the body likes to work. And because of that, he adjusts by going this way. He adjusts it. So once I get it here, I don't have to be hard on the wrist. I just have to take this plane and put it behind this one. He will adjust. If you find that you're getting over to here and they're not going down, look at the relationship of the hand to the shoulders. Right now it's open, right? Just doing, kind of doing this, obviously you're not going to go down, but what if I was here? Now you go down. You understand? That's, that's what's physically happening with the person. So you don't have to be hard. You just have to put it in the line that the body just has to conform to. Conform to do. All right? Go ahead. Zenith of Torque. Zenith of baby. All right, Mate. Okay, you guys are looking good. And I've seen a couple of you already uh, put the heat show in there. And so this is coming well through the Ooh, here. Right? I'm in that second. As I, as I was walking around, there was a second where I was here. Right? I was in, kind of in each of I was on one foot. I could have gone anywhere. Alright? I chose to walk back this way. Well, now I'm going to choose differently. So I've got it out of fire in here. Deal with all the punches in a second. Heat show to heat show. Okay, so get out of here. You're gonna get out of the way, walk out of the way, you're gonna walk into the seat show. Pull it. You're gonna hold it for a second. 
You can put your feet down. So, uh, so it, the nice thing is, is uh, it, if you if your foot went down early, you said, "Ah, shoot, uh, that's okay." What that means is that what a great thing for you to work on. Balance. I want you to do it again, same thing. Other foot on here. But what I want you to do now is I want you to actually sink into that leg a little bit. Mm. All right. So it's almost like a little crunch. So that foot can almost fit right up in there. All right. You want to stand right in the back of your cap. You'll notice too that if I'm facing this way. Yeah, I'm looking at this today, my, my, my shoulders and stuff are facing great, and my foot's like this, it'll be very hard for me. Think of like an inch launch, where my foot's kind of out a little bit like this. Sink down into that, bring the foot in here. All right? And notice, you kind of almost take all that energy and put it down to one foot. And you can almost sit right in here. All right? So you're going to stand on that half a little bit. All right? So try that foot turn out just a little bit. That knee's going down, weight's over, and just right there. You'll be able to hold that position for a while. If you can't, then. So now you guys are doing very well. This looks like very good at holding the atoms. They look pretty effortless. You see, you guys struggle with the holding the atoms um, a lot more than what you just did. So let's actually, I want you to now go through it like you normally would. But I want you to experience that feeling of that heat jump. Right, because obviously somebody throws a punch at me. He's not going to be like, oh, hey. Right, he's going to hit me 18 times from Sunday, but I need to have this feeling of this shifting in there. I need to be able to have this out and this back. Because if I go up, I'm going to hold my ground. Here, this awesome arm battle now. So I waste time to do it all on my body. All right, so now, you have to go fast. Okay? So if I were here and I need to move, I have to shift my weight, right? It would be very awkward to me now. We'll talk about later. I'll, I'll violate this later, but follow me for right now. It's like, well, if I want to move off this line, I'm waiting. I need to move myself over to here so I can pick this foot up and go somewhere. It's very hard for me to be here and just 
<coughs> throw that foot over it, right? I need to shift myself to that zero point so this leg can go and do what I want it to do. What I'm saying tonight is just always be that. <laughs> the solution to, uh, to just, mistakes just, is perfection. Yeah, <laughs> just don't, don't put yourself in a position where you have to go there after your first move. Just always be there. So then you have all the options in the world. Don't limit yourself on that plane. You see what I'm talking about? And I think you've all seen in your training, at some point in time, you've gotten to here. Like that is so the God, he's perfect. And next thing you do, ah. Uh, that's how you start your second move. What if you just went here in the first place? Oh, shit, now it's easy. OK, let's talk about fluidity and something. This is what Hicho shows. All right, it's not just a coin thing. All right. Um, Four minutes on the any questions. You, you know how you guys are taught to keep your structure as you move? Yep. If you keep your structure as you move, you stay over your center of gravity, yes? And then in order for you to move, your center of gravity has to be what? Where's your center of gravity? So this is it, it, it's it never goes away. <laughs> this will chase you until you're dead. Yep. Uh, have fun. Yeah. And talking about structure, it's it's very um, if you're here, kind of set on a plane, 50-50, very comfortable to be able to turn, right? I can, I can work from here. I can adjust my structure, my ship's at feet. I can be in a position where I can work from. I feel good because I'm, I'm bolted to the ground. If you're like this, starting to do all that turning and twisting really doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good and natural. You're going to be putting a lot of external rotations. It doesn't feel good. You kind of want to be structurally sound. So if you're over here, you're more likely going to be structurally sound just because it's going to feel here. Not being structurally sound. Does that make sense? How do you feel? Sit here. Get your weight 50 50. Get yourself on that plate. And just turn. Turn. Break that structure. Move with weight. You can feel like, okay, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I can fight from here. Not the greatest structure. Put yourself on one foot. Now do it. Doesn't feel right, does it? Feels very warm. You want to be here. Uh, oh my god, this is like, uh, this, it doesn't feel good. Alright, so the weight, full weight move from that end that heat show, and as you go to the position, I can help keep you in structure. It's walking. Right? Go back to what we did the very first time, it's walking. Right? It's walking. Your feet go over, and they just stand, they're all right there. Right there. I'll go anywhere. Now I can go over here. Alright? You don't, I can't go. I can do that. Alright? Does this make sense? Alright. So, um, yeah, so actually, I wouldn't be here this time. I just wanted to be here. So, I would, it's late, and I know it's, I think it's starting to, it's starting to ice up out there too. I just went outside to take her, and I'm just about to slip and fall. So, it is a little slippery out there. Um, but, questions, thoughts, concerns? Yes, it's a great job.